Hi, this is Gary from Treaty Transformation, and this is a Smartsheet quick tip on the limitations within a grid in Smartsheet. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, the limitations within a grid in Smartsheet. So I suppose it's worth mentioning that at Treaty Transformation, we absolutely love Smartsheet. Um, there are some limitations, um, but for everyday use, um, it's likely you'll never encounter them. But it's good to understand what they are so you can build your solutions around them. The other thing that's worth noting is I always refer to, you know, when I create a sheet, a sheet. So I refer to this as a sheet, but actually the correct technical term uh, within Smartsheet is a grid. Uh, so you can see if I go to create here, it's not a sheet, it's a grid. So hence the title with the grid. But anyway, let's get into uh, the limitations that are currently within a grid in Smartsheet. Okay, so the first limitation we have within Smartsheet, uh, within a grid, is you can only add five columns at any one time. So if I wanted to add, for example, 10 columns or more, I highlight, the, highlight these columns and right click and say insert and you can see I've got a limitation of five columns. I can only insert five columns at any one time. Okay, so moving on to the second limitation, and this is regard to deleting columns. So if I actually wanted to delete all these columns, just select them all, keep my finger on shift and then right click and say delete, you'll get a message here saying a maximum of five columns can be deleted at any one time. So there's a limitation within a grid that you can only actually delete five columns at any one time. Okay, so just moving on to the third limitation. Um, as some of you may know, you can actually cut and paste information from an Excel sheet into, um, into Smartsheet, um, but actually there's a limit on 500 rows. So for example, if I wanted to copy this information that I have here, which is around 500 rows, 551 rows. If I just copy that, control C, obviously go back to my sheet and then paste this at the bottom here. You can see that I get an error message saying you cannot paste more than 500 rows at a time. So that's just another limitation to be aware of within a grid in Smartsheet. Okay, so just moving on to the fourth limitation. Uh, this limitation within the grid is actually you can only have 400 columns in a single grid. So at the moment you can see I've got 360 columns. So if I start adding some more columns, obviously only five at a time, uh, and just work towards that 400 number, you can see you get this message. You're reaching the column limit of 400. Uh, so if I keep on going, Now if I try, and obviously I've got 400 columns now, if I try and add an additional one, there you go, there's your limitation. So you've reached your 400 limit, uh, column limit uh, within the grid. Okay, moving on to the fifth limitation. Um, there's actually a, a limitation in the number of rows you can have in a single grid as well, and that limitation is 20,000 rows. So if I was to um, import data from Excel, if I select this one, this um, Excel sheet that I know has 22,000 rows in, choose for upload, say continue. You can see you get an error message saying yeah, you can uh, may import sheets with up to 20,000, so you can't go with 20,000. Uh, but also, if you're actually to add stuff in manually, again, that uh, 20,000 limitation would still exist. Okay, so the sixth limitation within a grid is around cross sheet references. So cross sheet reference is where you take information from another sheet and bring it back into your host sheet. So that's either via an index match formula or a VLOOKUP formula um, or an index collect formula uh, or something similar. So um, the way to work out how many cross sheet references you have in within the sheet, if you just right click and go to manage references, you can see you've got cross sheet references here and it shows you how many you have. So currently I have four in here, but the limit is 100. Um, so if I was to create another index match formula here and to bring back the color, um, so if I put this in here, and call this color, set the reference, and then match that against the item description, and already have that reference set up within here, so the item description is already set up, and then comma zero and press return you can see I've got black there now and I can also make that a, a column formula which is fine so now if I right click on here 
and go to manage references, you can see that I now have five references. So let's say the limitation is 100. I've only breached it once uh, and I had to get creative around trying to work around that, uh, but it is a limitation in a grid nonetheless. Okay, so the seventh and final limitation within a, a grid in Smartsheet is around cell links. So cell links are where you reference um, a particular cell in another sheet, um, like I'm using these two here for uh, conversion rates. Um, and how you do that is you just right click and say link for another sh uh, sheet and actually I want to link to this and just say create link. So that link is created and whatever value changes within these cells will be updated within these here. Um, again the way you can check how many cell links you have within your sheet or within your grid you go to manage references and then you go to cell link, ref cell, cell link references you can see that I've got two. So actually the, um, the limitation within a grid is 20,000 links. So um, you know, in normal everyday use, you're never going to get to that number. However, if you use some premium apps such as Control Center, where you have blueprint summaries and also you have a number of references flying around throughout your, your solution, then you can get close to that. And if you're encountering that issue, then obviously you should look at archiving to try and resolve that issue for you. But um, that is the, the seventh limitation within a grid and smart sheet. Cell links, the maximum you can have is 20,000. Thanks for watching. And for further details on our free and paid smart sheet training courses, please visit the training and events section on our website at www.cheetahtransformation.co.uk. Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.